<sighs> now that we have that out of the way, we get to go do something exciting this morning. I was looking online last night at our local tractor supply for different fencing options, and I couldn't believe it. Our local tractor supply, for the first time, has hog panels in stock. Normally we use cattle panel, which works great when they're bigger, but when they're little tiny piglets, these square holes aren't small enough, and believe it or not, they can run right through that. How do I know that? Yeah, it happened to us the first time we brought piglets here to Lumna Acres, where we are right now. Luckily, they didn't get too far. How I remedied that situation is I put our Premier One poultry electric net on the outside, and that kept the pigs, piglets in. But I saw last night they have the hog panels. So cattle panels 52 inches tall, hog panels 34, and you have two inch spacing, four inch spacing for a few, and then six inch spacing. So this morning, yep, we need to go get some. Why was I looking for fencing online? I can't tell you that. Yep, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm leaving this on my truck all day, driving around to work, and then I gotta go pick Olivia up and put the load on the truck like this. Hope she don't get too embarrassed. Now those are a lot more manageable than the cattle panels. Now the hog panels are nice and tight, two inches apart on the wire for the first say 10 inches then we have four inch spacing and then six and they're only 34 inches tall so when we bring home the piglets this weekend we won't have to worry about them getting out of the pen which will be nice Man, we got the mother lover today.
Pluto, are you causing all that chaos? Yep. Still working good. Pluto, you got the chickens all riled up. You guys drank all, you drank all your water. Guess I need to hook up my five gallon water for them. Man, I filled that up this morning. You know what though, we have the five gallon water in there. Hey, would you keep it down? Thank you. We have the horizontal water in there. They must not be using it though. It's still got water in it. They're getting spoiled. They should be old enough now and big enough to use the horizontal nipples. But we'll give them a few more days and we'll keep checking that other one. I'm really happy that the outdoor kitchen is working good for a greenhouse for us to start our plants in. The tomatoes are looking nice. I'm gonna have to get some more transplanted shortly. I'll probably save that for this weekend. We had fun doing it together. This large soil block maker worked nice. The one thing I would change though, all the soil block maker has a clear coat in it except for the two inch block. It's just rough sawn lumber. So the soil gets stuck to this and it, when you're pulling it out, it's kind of drags. So maybe a piece of plastic or a better piece of pine that's clear coated or painted. That'll be an upgrade probably next year. Oh yeah, I caught a fly. Huh? That was a fly. Was that a fly? Yep. This is where we're gonna end today's video. Olivia and Gina are going to a painting class tonight. Is that gonna be fun? Yeah. I think it's gonna be fun. We'll have to show you what they make. What are you making? I don't know. Any idea? No? No. Well. And we'll see you right back here on the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to my home setting, such proficiency and freedom. Bye. Bye.